Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to OMG Muslims. Guys, it's time for another video. A sister named Zahra Ahmed, hope I said that right, uh, left a comment on one of our last videos saying, Assalamu alaikum sister, I'd really like to begin wearing niqab, but my parents are so against it, especially my mother. She dislikes the jilbab too, saying that it's old fashioned, that it'll attract guys who are super back dated and extreme. In my heart, I know that I want to wear the correct hijab, niqab, inshallah but how do i ease my parents hearts into this i don't want to wait until marriage to finally be able to wear it legit predicament you're in my sister i i get you i feel you sister then goes on to say in a couple responses on this comment which i will go ahead and put up on the screen just a little bit more about her background that her mom um is pretty much non-practicing and but dad prays and it has a pretty liberal attitude on religion um saying that her mom has bent the, her position a little bit and allow her to wear jilbab outside but to certain places and you know just basically that she she needs dua okay oh my god sister another stranger online telling <laughs> telling you Telling you to go for it. Go for the niqab. Okay, uh, your mom's gonna... Oh, sorry. I'm moving my camera here. Okay, let's do this. Let's get this. Yeah, oh, your mom's gonna be so pleased about this. No. <laughs> no, seriously, though, sis. Um, Jazakallah khair for your comment. I just want to first and foremost just congratulate you, sister. Let me tell you something. There is some blessing and just having good thoughts, you know, just wanting to go do good things just for the sake of Allah. Um, there's, there's something in it. Wallahi, wallahi. So like, if, even if you, I just want to tell you because the rest of this video, I don't know what's going to happen. I might go off into a tangent and just like, just completely blow this. But I want you to know that Allah rewards according to your intentions. That means even if you are in a situation right now where you can't dress the way that you want to and you feel bad about that. I mean, and you want to dress dress modestly and, you, and you're and you not able to do it or you're not able to do it at the level that you want to. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what other people say. Don't worry about what other people think, which I don't think you do. You sound like a smart girl who knows what she's doing, okay? Who knows that it's about pleasing a law and not other people, so I won't even go there. But girl, all I'm saying <laughs> is alhamdulillah, just alhamdulillah in all situations. All right, even if the advice I give you today doesn't work and your parents still have issues, <laughs> whatever, you, you're gonna be okay. Trust me, just have patience. Patience, pray your salah, have patience, and the help is on the way, all right? Secondly, um, I wanna say, this is the same advice I give to people who tell me that, hey, I have parents that are not Muslim, and I'm not saying this about your parents. Wallahi, I don't twist my words, although some of the things that I'm going to say next might be a little, like, you know, hard to hear. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm just saying, I, I just think that we should take this down to like a really super basic level. And I want to give you some of the same advice I give to people who have parents that are completely and totally against Islam, who are, you know, coming, coming out to their parents as a Muslim. Um, and that is the first thing I want to say is to be good to your parents. There is no doubt that Islam makes us better people. Like it makes us better people. And we need to show that in our interactions that we have with other people, especially those close to us. Okay. Like we need to show them that our faith and our following the Dean is making us a better person, somebody good that you know who's who's benefiting the world not being a burden on the dunya okay so we want to do that you know it's all in softening you know and I know somebody else mentioned that in the comments as well but you want to definitely do whatever you can to soften their hearts whatever you can if that's helping out mom a little bit more if that's complimenting her good attributes a little bit more if that's doing some things that you know make them happy with you would make them pleased with you that are not against quran or sunnah do that like whatever you can think of that you could do to make their lives better as their daughter make that a focus on make that a focus fees to be a law especially your mother be nice like because you know growing up in the society that we are in right now you are so right there are so many people 
people who take culture over Islam, who have a fear of not being accepted among their peers. And it's it's really scary because we should be fearing a lot more. And I and I want and I could get all into that, but I don't, I don't want to be harsh and say like, you know, hey, as even though it's the truth as a Muslim, it, any Muslim, any person who says la ilaha illallah, who says I want to die on Islam, right? They should be supportive of the, the, the deen. They should be supportive of, of the Quran and Sunnah or even if they can't follow it themselves or they're having a lot of struggles in their life following it because of whatever situation, they should at least be supportive of other people who do want to follow it, right? Who do want to do the best that they can. But unfortunately in our community, we're seeing more and more and more um, of the separation between us, like separation between the Nakabis versus the non-Nakabis and the hijabis versus the non-hijabis and the the reverts versus the born Muslims and just all these just different kinds of nonsense, um, all this cultural BS that has nothing to do with Islam. And there's nothing wrong with having a culture, having, you know, whatever, like I'm not knocking any of that but Islam it comes first that's the one thing that connects all of us as Muslims regardless of where we came from or what our culture is or what color our hijab is or if we wear burqa or if we wear niqab or if we wear hijab or whatever the case is you know what I'm saying so it's really super frustrating to hear so many people openly um, telling their children and things like that that they're not in support of basically things symbolism of you know of of being a Muslim they're not supportive of the Dean which is weird it's like you got to ask yourself how can I be a Muslim and not support the Dean I don't know it's just strange it's a phenomenon I don't get it somebody explain it to me in the comments I don't under know I just don't understand again this is not direct in any particular shade at anybody's um, parents. Lord knows we're all praying for our parents daily, are we not? Lord knows we're praying for our parents, honey. <laughs> we are praying for them. But, you know, it it is definitely saying something about the condition of the UMA right now that we have so many of these problems where people can't get like support from close people close in their life on even the small things which it is small you know I mean this is not Tawheed we're talking this is not a life or death situation we're talking this is not this is this is just support and just dressing modestly why what is it secondly uh third fourthly which 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 one are we on the next point sis this is the reason why you've got to even be stronger okay i know people are gonna say stuff like oh you're getting to be extreme you've been listening to too much people on the internet they're trying to you know brainwash you they're trying to islam is we're doing things for the benefit of ourselves. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. This is all for your benefit. So if you have seen the light, sis, you have seen the benefit in this, then do it if you can do it, right? And what I mean by that is if your parents are not like stopping you from doing it, Hear me out for a second. Like, if they're not literally saying, if you're put it, if you're wearing that, you can't come out the house with me. Um, you can't go to school. You cannot, whatever. You're gonna be a prisoner in your house if you don't dress the way that we tell you to dress, or whatever the case is, or or any other kind of you know abuse or whatever. We're not gonna feed you anymore. We're not gonna pay for your whatever anymore. Yeah. So if your parents are are like physically stopping you, or they're telling you, hey, you know, we're not gonna support you or take care of you and you don't have any other means to take care of yourself you there's not much you can do you're gonna have to just be patient sis and keep praying and making dua and do whatever you can do just like your mom said hey you know what you can wear jillabob to these places that is a step in the right direction keep advocating for yourself if they don't let you wear jillabob wear the loosest most covering thing that you can to the best of your abilities a prime reason why i cannot like judge other sisters you can't you just can't because you don't know what situation people are in and I will tell you that I've had personal experience especially when it comes to the cultural things honey that I I, f I know how bad it can be let me just put it that way 
I know how absolutely terrible culture, cultural biases and standards on people can really mess them up. Um, and me and my husband will have to do a total a video about that on a whole, like, other occasion. Because <laughs> it's just too much, you know. But yeah, anyway... Okay, again, that's what happens when I don't write anything out. I, I don't know how many tangents I went on on this video, but I hope you got the point, sister. Um, just to reiterate again, Allah is going to reward you based on your intentions. Intentions. Do not worry if you don't have the means or the way to dress the way that you want to right now. Ignore the hate. Okay, it, no matter who it comes from, even if that's from family members, be patient with them. Treat them good. Treat them kindly. Treat them with respect. Keep advocating for yourself wherever you can to get more of what you want. Do as much as you can do and don't worry about what you cannot do because Allah is the one who sets this all up for us, right? Like... He's going to make sure that we get to the place where we need to be right at the time that we need to be there. Trust me. And you're not behind, okay? Don't feel like you're, you know, you're behind on your goal or whatever the case is. That's not the case. Everything happens exactly at the time that it's supposed to happen. Prayer. Keep praying for your parents. The fact that your parents are open to having discussions and dialogues with you is a very good sign. You don't know. You might be the person who revives Islam in your home. You might be that person that Allah has sent to revive Islam in your home. So do not stop. Do not stop trying to talk to them about the Quran and the Sunnah. Do not stop bringing information to them no matter what they say. Even if they try to tell you that, oh, you've been listening to those crazy people online again. Those extremists again. <laughs> you've been brainwashed you know, whatever, um, the, there's something beautiful about this Dean that it stands on its own, you know, and you just need to be patient and keep praying and keep doing your best and don't worry about what you can't do right now. That's, that's all I gotta say. Um, okay, sis, I hope I said something that benefited you. Um, sisters, please give your I live on a busy street. <laughs> so um, I hope I said something that might be useful to you today. Um, please, sisters, if you've got anything to add, please add it down in the comments below. Um, so many of you guys already gave really good advice. Uh, to Really, really good advice. Um, and man, guys, what do we do? How do we connect as a community together as sisters? Like, I feel like there should be something. There's... <sighs> I mean, God, we need to be together, like, to take care. We need to start taking care of each other, no matter what you look like. Muslims need to start taking care of Muslims. We need to start taking care of each other, regardless of what we look like. And I'm talking real talk, like, we, I could say, we can talk about anything, the benefits of the beard, the benefits of the niqab, but honestly, ha having those things or not having those things should not matter when it comes to supporting each other whoever is saying la ilaha illallah whoever is in support of Allah I'm in support of them period like I don't care what you look like like <laughs> no like this world is too crazy for me to care you know I I'm all about advocating for Islam and I love every part of this Quran. I love every part of the Sunnah. I love the Prophet Sallallahu and his family and anybody who loves them, who loves those people, who loves the law, who loves the Quran and Sunnah. I love them. Like, that's it. Like, I'm here to support you. So, anyway, 20 minutes. How did I sit here and talk for 20 minutes? Did you guys notice I had to change change it up today? These are these are my curtains. <laughs> um yeah, this does not record too well on a green screen. I don't know. It's my favorite color in the world. I have so many clothes in this color. I love it so much and I just cannot um get this to like work on a green screen, honestly. So Anyways, you guys can also let me know if you have any other topics for videos that you want to discuss down in the comments below. Um, I know that y'all probably don't get every single video. I doubt it. 
I'm back and we'll be back for a while. So if you need anything, I'm here, inshallah. So at the very least, if you don't hear from me for a couple of days, I probably have posted a video and you're probably just gonna have to go to the channel to check it out um, because you're not gonna see every single video unless you like literally come every day. So, all right, just letting you know a little housekeeping. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for the comment. Um, Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Have a wonderful day.